What is up guys? Welcome back to Dan Reviews. Today we have a, another review of this week's episode of The Walking Dead Season 7. This is uh, The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 2, uh, which is called The Well. Now, this episode for me, this is a great episode. Um, you know, uh, definitely slower, like way, way slower than the premiere. Um, but I liked it. It was, it was good. It was, uh, I have to say... It was a little slower than expected. I mean, I, I expected it to be, like, a, a slow episode. Um, I don't know how to describe it. It just... I felt like there was going to be a little bit more than what we actually got. But we still got a lot of great character development scenes. And uh, I'm going to have to give this episode a 8.3. It was a decent episode, uh, pretty, you know, you know, pretty good, and I especially love the brand new characters, who, um, and, and, you know, just the brand new community that came in. Uh, you have Ezekiel, you have, uh, Shiva, you know, I have to say the tiger, um, and all that. So, uh, spoiler warning if you've not seen this episode yet, uh, otherwise click off for now, because we will go into spoilers. Uh, so... Beginning of the episode, uh, I love it. It's uh, Carol's point of view, right? And I like it because this picks up right after the end of the season six finale, uh, where they are, uh, you know, she envisions uh, one of the walkers uh, in one of the houses there, uh, kind of going by. As Morgan also to to say is uh, marking their way uh, back. If they need to, when they need to go back to Alexandria, they'll know their way. And, uh, also, uh, I, I like how, um, yeah, how Carol sees that it's, a, like, uh, the zombie uh, inside the house uh, is a human to her, but then kind of translates into a zombie. Uh, I really like that. It reminded me a little bit of uh, what happened and what's going on when, uh, you remember the governor, uh, as he got closer and closer to Tyrese, he did these uh, hallucinations from season five, when he got closer to him, he turned into a zombie right away. And I love the way they did that in this episode. Really, really cool. Uh, and uh, so, uh, then they arrived to the, uh, you know, uh, kingdom. It's a two, uh, two uh, roughly about 48 hours later, and uh, uh, she's all uh, patched up and everything. Uh, she's in a wheelchair, and he introduces her to King Ezekiel. So, uh, really, really cool. Um, you know, like, what did, what did you tell them about us, Morgan? You know, that kind of thing. I really worried about it. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just seeing him on that stage right there with the tiger, beautiful setup, I have to say, uh, and seeing that tiger, just the roar, that was the best part of that episode for me, uh, I, I loved it, it was just great to see that moment where, uh, we see those two characters right off the bat, just, just there, it, it was amazing, so, yeah, um, really just great, and, uh, now moving into... You know, kind of the uh, thing that I was uh, just really, really happy about uh, was the scene where, um, you know, after the intro, she's talking about uh, how she will leave. Uh, and he's like, I can't let you die out there. Uh, I, I, I knew it from then and there when she said it that she will get out of there. When Carol says something, she will do it. She will get out of, the, out of her situation somehow. And she always have. Uh, she always has, I mean. Uh, now, also, uh, there is a, a, a good, decent part uh, that I do have to say is pretty cool, uh, where uh, when she talks about uh, kind of a, I, I don't know what you would say, maybe a, you know, a, a scene that I really liked where, um, I, don't, I don't know how to describe this, when she leaves, uh, when Carol does in fact leave uh, the kingdom, uh, Ezekiel somehow finds her. Uh, even though it would it'd be pretty tough to track down her. Uh, and I don't know, actually, because there were guards there, weren't there? Uh, at the Kingdom Wall. How did she get out of there without them seeing? Like, they would have to... They need glasses if they can't see her getting out of there. Um, they need some. Uh, or, you know, um... Because they really didn't see her? Come on, that, that's just weird. Um... No, I'm, I'm not a fan. Uh, not, not a fan at all. Uh, so that was one part of the episode I, I, I was a little questionable about, uh, you know. But it seems like they let it flow, but no, I really caught on to that. Uh, that was a fail, in my opinion. Uh, but, anyway. Um, 
the scene uh, where he uh, Ezekiel he explains his dialogue about what uh, you know I know it's crazy seeing a tiger right uh, you know and uh, that kind of thing uh, and uh, he explained how he was a zookeeper uh, and uh, just this all that kind of stuff uh, he talks to Carl about how he got Shiva uh, and uh, how uh, when the zombie apocalypse br uh, broke out uh, he, he was uh, in the zoo and, you know it's just really really cool uh, and uh, I liked it quite a bit so and that lasted a good five minutes. So, uh, and uh, I, I heard a lot of people saying that that scene was boring to them. Uh, not to me. I was really interested uh, to everything he was saying, and uh, that that was some some good dialogue, I have to say, and that definitely necessary uh, too. Really, really necessary. Uh, I think we needed it because in in we need to get to know our TV uh, uh, version of Ezekiel, and uh, now we basically have. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Uh, now, uh, also, there's the run scene, uh, which f for me is really exciting. Uh, another one of my, probably my, yeah, I'm going to change my uh, my mind. I like the scene where we meet Ezekiel and Shiva, uh, but this scene here when they're out, uh, out in the open on the run, and they have the trade with uh, all the uh, the saviors, that was, that was really cool. So, uh, basically, the whole secret is that uh, the pigs are actually eating the meat uh, that um, or, sorry, uh, the pigs are the meat that were, they, they're, they killed the pigs, right? And those pigs were eating zombie dead flesh bodies. And the saviors, that's the meat they're getting. And they're obviously going to eat that. That is not good. They are going to die from that. Um, and that's the whole secret. And no one back home needs to know about this type of thing. Uh, I was wondering what that was in the preview uh, about a month ago when we saw that, that trailer. I'm like, you know, it's like, uh, you know, I, I like that, though. That that was cool. Um, and, um, yeah, so that's kind of the whole secret thing. Uh, then uh, you have this teenager, I forget his name, uh, and uh, one of the people from the kingdom. Uh, he gets in a fight, uh, and he kind of, the savior kind of starts it, uh, acts like he's not scared, uh, and uh, he, he gets him pretty good. He whoops him. Uh, and... Um, yeah, to a pulp, I'd say. Uh, and then they have to break up the fight, because uh, otherwise it would have probably went from there and, and got even crazier. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's something right there. So, uh, yeah. And uh, also, uh, back to the community. Uh, I like how, um, I think it's uh, William, is that the name of the kid? Uh, Morgan's teaching him, uh, like, uh, karate, not karate, but, you know, uh, uh, still uh, skills with the staff. And uh, I really like that. And they have the cafeteria. They're eating. It's it's just it's a, it's an amazing, well-established community. Uh, but it also feels like the medieval times. Uh, it, it really feels different. And uh, for that, I like the style. It's it's really cool. It's a great style. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, really, really good. So. Uh, yeah, if you guys, uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, please sub up below. And if you want to help support the channel, uh, please uh, share if you wouldn't mind. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Is, is this a good episode in your opinion? In my opinion, this was a great, great episode. Uh, really, really just, uh, I think they did a good job. Uh, yeah, they, uh, they they did a good job on this one. So, uh, it's, it's slow. We needed it uh, after the premiere. We definitely needed a, a slower episode like this. And for that, I think it, it serves its purpose. Next week, we're going to get back right into the drama, the action, the brutal, and it's just, it's going to get, I think it's going to go from, it's almost, the, the, and the cool thing about this episode, you could actually, some, now some people would say, uh, you wouldn't even need to see this episode, it, it has nothing to do with what happened uh, last week and what's going to happen next week, so you could probably just go for episode one and then skip this one and go to the next one. That is not true at all. Because you could actually, you can't skip this one. Because then you wouldn't know how they got there. So, this is a good episode. This is a really, really good episode. Um, yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, 8 point, uh, yeah, 8.3 for me. A uh, great episode. Uh, not amazing, not my favorite, uh, but good enough. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for the predictions uh, in about an hour. And I'll also do a Halloween video, probably around roughly 6. So, I might uh, be puffing up videos for the next uh, little while. So, uh, stay tuned. Peace.